What does the letter say? Well, did the letter say anything important? An anonymous letter asking us to come by ourselves to a creepy old manor? Nothing suspicious about that. Well, I don't suppose we have any better leads. I'll meet you there. About time. I was beginning to think I'd... So, did you get my message? I was worried I'd hired one of those incompetent couriers. You know, the ones who take your gold and then toss your letter into the dung heap. I had to eliminate more than a few of those in my time. Right to business. I wanted to ask you if you tried the swamp eel in a blackberry wine sauce at the Egg and Hammer. I hear it's the specialty of the house. Anyway, Fondacia. I did some digging and I came up with this place. Amnis Manor. Well, I got to thinking. A cult like the Waking Flame doesn't pay for itself. It needs wealthy donors, am I right? <laughs> of course I am. Anyway, Mattis Amnis. He's a known supporter of Vandacia. And a closet Tagolist. Generous, too, I hear. Hey, I can't do everything. Search the manor. Rumblings in the back alley say that something big is about to happen. An event of some sort. And Vandacia's stink is all over it. Maybe something here will point you to it. Sorry it took me so long to get here. Let's look around. Was that Elam I saw? Dacia might be at the Salvito estate near Blackwood Lake, but what sort of event are they talking about? The wardrobe's empty. Looks like Amnes has already left for the event, whatever it is. is missing, and so is the coin. everything we're going to find. Let's take another look at the evidence and see if we can figure out what's going on here. Says that's located near Blackwood Lake. It also mentions some sort of event, and I think both Amnes and whoever sent this letter are part of the Order of the Waking Flame. Actual Dagonists right here in Gideon. Can you imagine? I was thinking the same thing. Could he have found the other two ambitions? And are they people too? Cracked acorns. Mysteries make my head hurt. I'd much rather have a clear target so I can fill it full of arrows. Sounds like getting to the event requires a voyage and a special coin of some sort. Since we don't have a coin or an invitation, we should go to the Salvito estate next. I think it's to the north of Gideon, near Blackwood Lake. I'll meet you there.
This place is crawling with waking flame cultists. We'll need to be careful. Stop them, my brethren! He went out that window. Head around behind the house and let's cut him off. Gems, gold, jewels? All right, all right, yes. Vandacia was here. Stopped by for a visit with his new charge, but, but he's long gone. Perhaps if you hurry, you can still catch him. Well, prisoner, actually. He stopped by to show him off. Gave me a preview of his big event. Oh, please, I, I shouldn't be telling you any of this. It goes against our code. No one outside the order is allowed. Oh, all right. I can see there's no reasoning with you. But take my invitation and my coin. You'll need both to get on the ship. The Calamity. It's leaving from Leowin Docks shortly. A ship at the Leowin Docks? Where is Vandacia holding this event of his? And he's got a prisoner? It sounds like he found one of the ambitions. Let me see that. What a strange coin. The symbol on it. It looks like the symbols in the book I'm carrying. Here, you better hang on to the coin. At least we know how to get to Vandacia's event, wherever it is. Absolutely. Let's meet in Leowin. According to the invitation, the event requires formal attire, so we'll need to visit a tailor before we head to the docks. I'll meet you by the big tree just inside the city gates after I deal with Salvito.
Over here, my friend. Oh, good. I didn't miss you. We don't have much time before that ship departs, so let's get moving. Nope. The invitation says we need formal attire to attend Vandacia's event. When I dropped Salvito off with Governor Keshu, she suggested we'd be able to get what we need at the tailor shop here in the city. It's not far. Pretty much dead center of the city. The place is called Armor and Fine Garments. Keshu suggested we should ask for a tailor by the name of Perseus Loke. He's supposed to know his stuff. I'll meet you there. Armor and Fine Garments is right in the city center. I'll meet you there. Welcome, welcome to our humble shop on the boulevard. Are you with the young wood elf? She said her friend was coming by. How may I help you? A formal event? I say, we don't usually get clientele of your caliber seeking outfits from our formal line. Adventurers, am I right? Perhaps I can direct you to my colleagues. They handle our extensive collection of protective armor. Of course, of course. We have a small selection of formal wear, and alterations are part of our service. Unfortunately, such attire usually requires a noble's purse, if you catch my meaning. If funds are short, perhaps we can come to an arrangement. The trade is simple. I need silk from the Blue Whisper Moths for next season's line. Bring me a few bundles, and I'll trade them for the attire you seek. They nest to the north, along the riverbank. Or you can pay the gold, if you can afford it. A pleasure doing business with you. Now, please, take your time and select the outfit that most suits you. You want to look your best and also make a good impression when attending a formal event. That looks good on you. Hang on while I try this one on. Where does this piece go? What am I supposed to do with this thing? This is itchy, and I can't breathe. All right, there. So, how do I look? Hmm. So, be honest. I look ridiculous in this outfit, don't I? You really think so? Thanks. You look good, too. So, you be the noble, and I'll be your escort. With these outfits, the invitation, and the coin, we should be able to walk right up and board the Calamity. Right, just act natural, and no one will suspect we don't belong at Van Dacia's party. But don't expect me to run, dodge, or loose arrows while wearing this. It isn't exactly made for sudden movements. And who might you be? This vessel's been hired for a private affair. Are you now? And where's your invitation? Hmm. Salvito and guest, huh? All right. This all looks to be in order. Welcome aboard. Make your way below decks and find a bunk. We're shoving off shortly, and it's going to be a long voyage. All right, we're aboard. Let's figure out our next move. We must be on the right ship. Everyone is dressed like they're about to have tea with Queen Irene herself. I 
don't know. We want to avoid drawing too much attention to ourselves. We don't want anyone to figure out we're not actually supposed to be here. I guess we could talk to the other guests. See if we can learn anything. Just be careful, all right? Then we should find our berths and get some rest. We want to be ready when the ship arrives at its destination, wherever that may be. I don't remember you. This must be your first time experiencing one of Vandasia's events. You're in for a treat, my friend, an absolute treat. But tell me, have you known the Council along? Ah, a new recruit to the cause. Welcome, welcome. I envy you. I remember my first time crossing over to... Oh, no, no, my friend. I wouldn't want to spoil the surprise. I do suggest you get some rest, though. The voyage takes us through some strange waters. I find it better to sleep through the rough patches. Makes the trip pass by more quickly as well. I do not know you, Vandasia and his recruitment drives. I prefer the company of long-standing believers, not raw initiates, fresh out of the egg. Somewhere spectacular, that's what I have been told. Vandasia does love to show off. The rumor is that this time, he actually has something vital to share with us. I look forward to seeing whatever it is. <laughs> Guesses. As many as stars in the sky, but such games get us no closer to the truth. I suggest you go and contemplate the blessings of fire and flood initiate. That is all that should really concern you, no matter what Vandasia says to the contrary. that. Everyone else has already disembarked. We need to hurry. Well, according to the last couple of nobles who headed off the ship, we're somewhere in the Deadlands, the oblivion plain of Mayrun's Dagon. I guess Vandasia really didn't want anyone interrupting this event. Same place the rest of the nobles went, off the ship in that way. There's some sort of keep over there. That must be the place. I'm right behind you. Let's go see this way, this please. About. Mind where you step. All right, this is weird. We're in freaking oblivion, and these crack decorns are having a party. I wonder when Vandasia plans to make an appearance. No, look around. He brought these people here to show them he's in control, that he's got power and the favor of Mayrun's Dagon. I think we need to explore this place and figure out what he's got planned before he reveals it to the world. Which is why we need to get moving. If he has found an ambition, maybe we can free them. And if it's something else, well, we need to see what it is and figure out what to do about it while there's still time. Let's search around and see if we can get a look at Vandasia's surprise before he parades it before these corrupt nobles. Oh, hey, look! Is that Lyrinth? What's she doing here? I'm getting that impression, at least from everyone that isn't you, me, or Lyrinth. What's she doing over there, I wonder? Anyway, since they all seem comfortable and excited to be sipping wine in the Deadlands, how could they not be cultists? Oh, 
little mortal. I was wondering when you were going to arrive. And where did you get that outfit? Is that really what passes for the height of fashion among the Tamriel elite this century? I told you I had my own avenues of investigation. Why does it surprise you that I would be on hand for Vandacia's major announcement? Besides, the Dagoness who gave me this coin was only too happy to let me take it from her cold, dead hand. Not exactly. I haven't been able to move about as freely as I would like. I don't want to reveal myself to Dagon's Dromora any sooner than I have to. But some of these mortals believe that Vandacia has finally found one of the ambitions. As I understand it, he has been looking for them ever since Emperor Leovic's death. I suggest you take advantage of that disguise you're wearing and see what you can find out before Vandacia begins this extravaganza. I shall remain close by.
I'll tell you what I told Vendacia. So, Vendacia has let some of his pet nobles come by to gawk at his prize. Away, you vultures! There aren't enough of you to stop Vendacia. He has an army of elite soldiers, crazed cultists, and daedric creatures given to him by Merun's Dagon personally. You're hopelessly outclassed. Me? I'm the main event at this infernal affair. Vondacia plans to sacrifice me to his Daedric Prince, referred to me as one of the four ambitions of Merun's Dagon. Apparently they think... I don't know. Maybe. My mentor used that term once or twice, but I never paid it much mind. Look, to stop Vondacia, you need to get me out of here. Find the key to unlock these chains. Ken Reeve Deserog has a copy. His chambers to the north. You get the key. I'll stay here and watch over Sombre. While you were searching for the key, Vandacia arrived and called in the nobles. He started his presentation. Great, but it's not like we can just walk in there and... Wait a moment, that's it! If we can cause a panic, get those nobles to run around screaming, that should create enough of a diversion for you to use that key and set Sombrin free. We just need to accomplish that before... Take these Rikas. They're beetles similar to dewbugs. Very tasty, though they release a foul odor when they die. I was saving them for later, but I'll get more. Place them around the hall. Then, when you give the signal, I'll lose some arrows. Just drop the Rikas around the perimeter of the chamber. Once you've placed them, give me the signal and wait for the clouds of stench to clear the room. Then you can set Sombrin free. I hope you can hold your breath, though. Place the Rikas around the chamber. Then give me the signal. Brothers and sisters of the Waking Flame, behold our future. This is one of the fabled four ambitions of Merun's Dagon, and his death will elevate us all. Like the others of his kind, he was created from birth for one purpose, to give us his power and grant our Dark Lord a connection to the mortal play! Now that's what I call it. Yes! Let's go Interrupt and get this out of here. sacred ceremony! Destroy you, them! Counselor, this way! Getting away! Oh, overwhelms you. Now go! No matter. If we can reach the Empress, I can
Nothing! We capture the ambition at all cost! Get up, Sombrin! We need to get out of here! I can't. Yeah. Too exhausted. Uh, I'll help Sombrin. You need to deal with those Dramora. Move! <laughs> Deal with you myself. Thank you for getting me out of that place. I am in your debt. That story would take too long to tell. Let's just say I made the mistake of returning to a place where I once lived. I wasn't paying attention. Suddenly, I was surrounded by Vondasia's cultists. They overpowered me, and I woke up in chains. Yes, I would like to meet these other ambitions. Find out who they are, what we are, and learn more about this power Vondasia seems intent on taking from us. Lead on, and I will follow. Take Sombrin to the Temple of Debel. Then meet me at the Governor's Mansion. Lead the way, my friend. Go, my friend. Go see Evely. The twins and I have much to discuss. I'm Destron, and this is my sister, Kalia. But who are you? My name is Sombrin, and I, like you, am an ambition. Another ambition? Truly? What are you? How very nice to meet you. Did 
Did you introduce him to the twins? Perfect. I was telling the governor everything that happened. How we traveled to the Deadlands and stopped Vandacia from sacrificing the third ambition. We need to figure out our next move. Oh, before I forget, here's your share of our compensation. You have done well so far, mercenary. Now we must speak.